One of the biggest mistakes I see with a lot of beginner guitarists is that they just do not have enough fun. They do not explore the fretboard and they don't know what they're playing. And here's a little tip of what you should do. Whenever you play anything on the guitar, you want to know what the notes are that you're playing. I'm going to show you this in a minute with a beautiful little piece, okay? Very simple to play, but it's going to teach you how to unlock the fretboard and learn all the notes as well. And basically what the piece is, it's going to be based around this idea, okay? Okay, it's a simple little piece, I'm just noodling away, I'm having a bit of fun, but what am I doing? I'm exploring the fretboard using a four note pattern. I've taught this pattern quite a lot. I call it the outwards pattern, it's really cool and it's going to allow you to do so much on the fretboard and have so much fun. So if you enjoy finger picking or you want to get good at it, then definitely keep watching because I'm going to show you that, how you can do more of it. But if you want more on this sort of thing, then you can check out my playlist in the description below, okay? So you can have loads of fun and check out all the other videos on the channel, okay? I'm going to teach you loads about finger picking. So what are we doing? Well, we're exploring the fretboard, okay? And we're just doing it based around an E minor chord and a C chord, okay? very loosely based around those chords. We're not strumming E minor to C, but you can hear the kind of voice in. Of those sort of chords. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, we're plucking that, we've got fret 12 on the high E, and all we're doing is moving up and down that high E string. Okay, a really simple way to get good at the fretboard is basically play the E minor scale on that high E string while playing this pattern. We're going to do it from the open strings to start with. So we've got open strings all the way through. So open low E, G, B and high E. Then we're going to do fret 2 on the high E. Okay, same pattern, nothing changes with the picking hand. Then fret 3. Then fret 5. Fret 7. Fret 8, fret 10, and fret 12. Now, those notes all work really well because they're in the E minor scale. If you did random notes, the notes in between those notes, it sounds bad, okay? It sounds worse than a Justin Bieber uh, version of a Freddie Mercury song after a heavy night of drinking and smoking cigars, okay? A bit random, that, but there you go. Right, so the notes on the fretboard are really important. It's not just about exploring it. It's not just about doing little things like that, which I'll show you in a moment. It's about playing and learning the fretboard, okay? So you've got open high E. So that note there, on the, the open high E is the note of E. Then you've got F sharp at fret two. G at fret three. A at fret five. B at fret 7, C at fret 8, D at fret 10, and E at fret 12. Now when you're playing an E minor chord, you might not know this, but you don't need to know the theory, but it helps. The three notes that make up an E minor chord are E, B, and G. So when you're playing this, the G note and the B notes are really useful, as well as the E. So playing that E, G, and B notes on the high E are really useful, okay? So do you know where those notes are? Do you remember where those E, G, and B notes are on the high E? Well, take a moment to think about it, but if not, you've got open high E, third fret high E, and seventh fret high E. So those are three good target notes. Because that brings out the voicing of the E minor chord a little bit. What you can do is play a note and slide into it. Into those notes. Okay, and then later on you could do a little bit more, but thinking about target notes for the chord is really useful rather than just playing random notes. Because you'll find like the C note for eight doesn't quite sound as good, it adds a bit of tension. It's in the scale, that note. But it's like, ooh, what's that? It's a bit spooky almost. But when you play the B, it sounds pretty, okay? So if you want tension, play a bad note. If you want lots of tension, play an out of scale note. 
by fret six. If you want a little bit of tension, play a scale note that's not within the chord, which would be fret two, five, eight, and ten. But if you want the most pleasant notes, you'd play notes within the chord. So you'd play the open high, the third fret, and the seventh fret. Of course, you can play the high at the twelfth uh, fret as well. That's also the E. So there's three different levels there that you've got to think about. Pleasant, tense, and just plain old bad. But there is a, there's always room for bad notes every now and then on the guitar because tension can create good release, okay? By that, what I mean is music is all about tension and release. If you create tension, then you'll get nice release after it. All the great songwriters from Kirk Cobain to Paul McCartney, James Taylor and Paul Simon, they have to talk about tension and release. So they'll build up tension and then they'll release it. Usually the release happens in the chorus. But you can do tension and release within a piece, okay? And that's what we'll do now. So we're going to take what we've learned and just basically play about with some of those notes, okay? So we're also going to look at the C chord. The C chord we're doing it a bit different, okay? And we're using the A string to create the notes within the C chord. The C chord is made up of C, E and G, those three notes. So if you go on the A string and you find the notes of C, E and G, fret 3, C, fret 7, for E, fret 10 for G, you get those notes in the C chord. So you can play the same pattern. Okay, but your thumb would be plucking the A string. So it's A string, G string, B string, high E. And you're creating an outline of a type of C chord, okay? A bit more of a C major seven, but the outline is there because you're playing those bass notes. So if you put all this together, you've got this kind of idea. that sort of thing okay so basically it's all about getting you to noodle around the fretboard okay if you want to do some fancy stuff you can do some trills as well from scale notes fret 2 to fret 3 on the high okay and all that sort of stuff you can even do some pull-offs like say fret 7 8 and 10 Later on, doing that voicing of a D to C. And that's nice as well, okay? So that's fret 10 of the low E, 11 of the G, and then move it down two frets to fret 8 of the low E and 9 of the G. That's a little dyad shape, it's lovely sound in that. Okay, creates a bit more of a directness after the sort of floaty stuff we've been doing, okay? So you can just enjoy noodling around, adding some slides on. Like I say, you can play all those notes. Sliding. It sounds all right on their own, but when you add the picking pattern. You can have a bit more fun. And if you want to add some more chord voicings. Like a G. can do and then the C and so on but if you want to learn that with the G to E minor and have a bit more fun and use slides in this pattern then check out this video here because you're gonna have loads of fun with that okay so enjoy thanks for watching bye bye